The following is an H2O Tech presentation of our 300 gallon per minute electrocoagulation model. This full size unit has been installed on a mobile display. This presentation was done on June 15, 2010 at the staging area of Resolve Corporation, a Tier 1 response team currently employed in the BP Horizon spill area. Resolve Corporation requested H2O Tech to bring our presentation unit to demonstrate our H2O process to both Resolve and British Petroleum engineers. Resolve personnel supplied used oil collected from many trucks, tractors, and vehicles. This oil contained many contaminants including antifreeze, metals, and dirt normally found in solution in used oil. The oil was blended with brine water from the nearby bayou. Actual water from the oil spill was not available, so the Resolve personnel supplied used oil and brine to simulate the oily water in the Gulf spill. The Resolve personnel placed the oily mix into the H2O 2500 gallon holding tank. Supervising the filling of the H2O tank is Bob Herbst the inventor of the process, and who is responsible for the six issued patents and one pending patent owned by H2O Tech. Our 300G model contains two sets of electrodes that will be treating the water using a low voltage DC current. Present at the demonstration were both British Petroleum Engineers and Resolve personnel. They were explained the process of H2O's patented electrocoagulation process and how it operates. The group has explained how the water is treated to produce the resulting separation. Once the tank was filled with the oily mix, the process was started by Mr. Herbst by turning the 300G model on and adjusting the power outputs for the type of treatment needed to separate the oil from the water. Resolve and BP's engineers concerns were number one, could the treatment produce clean, safe, compliant water to be returned to the sea? And number two, would the oil be separated completely from the water? When the process starts, the electrodes produce a constant 12 volt current that passes through the liquid mix and starts to remove the suspended solids in the water. The water is treated with an electric current which produces an extra hydrogen molecule in the water. All of the suspended solids, whether visible or in solution, are released from the water, producing a flock and sludge. The flock is an indication the electrocoagulation process is working, releasing the solids and separating the oil from the water. Once the water is treated, it will not allow the solids or the oil to be reunited or dissolved back into the water. The process produces three layers. The bottom layer is a combination of flock and sludge, which contains the heavy and light solids. These are collected in filter bags and kept dry to recycle as mostly benign material. However, in some instances, there may be a presence of heavy metals or even toxic chemicals. They will be removed and sent to the bags to be collected and processed properly. The top layer is the oil and will float to the top. Some light flock also rises to the top. The oil is removed by using skimmers. The skimmers will remove the dewatered oil to a holding tank and the light flock will be removed and collected by passing through a weir, then put into the filter bags with the sludge. The oil now has been cleaned and will be dewatered. The non-oil solids are removed from the oil. The cleaned oil is now removed from the tank by the skimmers and the oil begins to cascade over the tank side into a collection tank. Once the water has been treated, it will no longer allow solids to go back into solution in the water. The water will reject the solids, leaving the seawater that is less than 2 parts per million, less than the allowable 15 parts per million. All of the toxic material has been safely removed. The water can now be returned into the sea safely. The middle layer is the water and is removed and pumped back into the sea. Prior to the water returning to the sea, it will be constantly monitored and should any of the water not meet the Clean Water Act standards, 
The system will recognize the non-compliant water using metering devices and return non-compliant water back into the process for additional treatment. H2O Tech can safely and quickly treat many millions of gallons of oily seawater per day. The result will be clean seawater and a clean environment for the sea inhabitants. We appreciate and thank the Resolve Corporation and British Petroleum for allowing H2O Tech to make this presentation of our patented electrocoagulation process. H2O Tech, clean water through electrochemistry.